Yeah, it'd be all as well. That is a nice cooling fan in my charge controller. Magnets layout. Doesn't go over 28, 29 degrees on a hot day, which is good. Our four loading hot days was getting like 50 degrees. But now, that fan's doing the job nicely. Nicely. Nice, I like it. I've got my tools out all cleaned up and organised the toolbox. I've got a, a smile I've given him yesterday that um, apparently smoked and uh, flashed inside a little bit. Another bit of a smoky, flamey mess apparently. Now it doesn't work supposedly, so let's get this plugged in and test it. See what it does when I go to power it up. It actually does anything. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if it can fix it. Plug it in. Oh, I've got a green light. Oh, I've got a display. Acer. Yeah, it's looping. Turns off. Yeah, it's burning up and loopy. Okay. Right. There might be a capacitor and a power supply that can do that. Let's get this thing apart so we can repair it. I'll do it apart. Little Chinese uh, screen there. You can see, one, two, three, four, five electrolytic capacitors have had the sausage. Filter capacitor slightly bulged. Wow, it's a slight bulge of that filter capacitor. There's main ones here, the ones that are bad, because these are the regulator part, secondary part of the um, power supply there. Cool, I can change this bridge. That's kind of cool. Stinks, bloody hell. Yeah, there's capacitors. You did say it's not funny, mate. It's smoke, and these are the capacitors here that have had the sausage. What have we got here? What have we got here? Caps on, oh, these are shit capacitors. Always oh, failing. 470 mic, I failed at 25 volt. Let's go ahead and replace those. Still quite a usable monitor anyway, so. Get this uh, VGA board off there. Put that aside. A little spider in there. Still worth fixing something like this. Still use a. Uh, they're still quite usable, these old, uh, old school uh, square monitors. That's my other spare which I haven't used in a long time. I was going to put it on my surveillance camera, but it's a 240 volt one. I want to stick to 12 volt wall watt power supply for my um, surveillance uh, monitor. And there we go, let's uh, get these capacitors changed out. Okay, viewers, that's all that capacitors taken out. All caps on brand capacitors, because they are capacitors. Even that one there was bad. The main filter. Four on a volt on a microfarad. I got another one in there. All recapped. This thing should work nice now. Let's test these bad ones. I'll set the camera down here on a big battery. And I'll set the ESR meter up and do some tests. On that. Not the best view angle, but we'll give you a quick test and I'll read them out to you. Did a 400 volt main foot capacitor first. Well, that's open circuit. Wow. Open circuit. Completely open circuit. That 25 volt. 470 microfarad. This is 1000 microfarad, 10 volts. It's not. It's a 470 microfarad. 0.91 ohms, yeah that's pretty high, and it's lost half its uh, rating. I don't know where that one came from, I might have put the wrong pass in there did I? Where did I grab that little 1000 microfarad from me? I don't know. I put a 470 in its place, ah oh, well it doesn't matter. It should still work alright. Yeah, again. 25 volt 470 microfarad, 2.4 ohms, leaky, that's bad.
Yep, that's bad too. Gee, that's pretty high. Well, just use capacitors and resistors. Bloody hell. That was bad. Teasers. Yeah, don't ever trust crap on because they're just capacitors. They're crap. Yep, same. Wow, all of them are bad. All of them are bad except for that little 10 volt 1000 microfarad, which is half the value it should be. But it did ooze a little bit of its guts out. So it's not a critical, super critical circuit, so if I put a 470 microfarad in place of a 1000 microfarad, it's not really going to make much of a difference. So let's put this monitor back together and give it a test. Let's give it a test, power on. That's better. No signal, I should say. Light stays on. Oh, that's better. And he said that the uh, it was going dark and it wasn't showing a good picture. The light, the back light, was showing funny colours. Those capacitors had a lot to do with that. This thing's fine now. I've got a good monitor. I can't do nothing. Here's a signal. But it's a worker now. There were certain equipment and machines in, uh, in the automation industry and other uh, factories as well. Certain machines have a screen like this built into them. Uh, whether it be sorting equipment or fruit grading equipment. Um, certain uh, manufacturers specifically design the machine to have a screen that's this size for the interaction of the computer. Some in particular, which um, use a Linux based operating system, this is a regular PC monitor such as this one. They only design the machine to fit this particular size square monitor, which you can't buy anymore, so in that respect, this is well worth repairing, so the certain manufacturers only use these um, they only have a robot design a machine for a screen of this particular size and form factor. So, getting a new, uh, brand new monitor for a machine like that, you won't get one. They don't make this particular um, form factor monitor anymore. It's all those big flat screen and curved screens now. So, there is still some use for an old monitor like this, even if there's only a VGA only. So, I'm going to clean this thing up and uh, I'll keep it as a spare. You know, I don't have too many monitors and things like this, so it's a lot of worthwhile repair. I quite like that. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.